Two men stabbed and killed after allegedly defending two women from a man's anti-Muslim rant on an Oregon City train. President Trump condemning that assault, saying, quote, the violent attacks in Portland on Friday are unacceptable. The victims were standing up to hate and intolerance. Our prayers are with them. But now, the Democratic Portland mayor, Ted Wheeler, says he wants several pro-Trump rallies canceled following these recent stabbings, instead calling them alt-right. My main concern is that they are coming to peddle a message of hatred and of bigotry. I'm appealing to the organizers of the alt-right events to cancel the events that they've scheduled. Well, with me now via the telephone is Joey Gibson. He is organizing a Sunday pro-Trump rally and is founder of the Patriot Prayer Group. And Joey, thank you very much for joining us. Um, am I assuming that uh, the speech or the rally, I should say, is going ahead this coming weekend and you have a permit for that, is that correct? Absolutely, I have a permit. It is going forward. Uh, the mayor has no authority to pull the permit. What's interesting is that uh, the ACLU, who would normally you'd think be on the other side of this issue, actually agrees with you in saying, like it or not, it's free speech, right? Well, actually, uh, it seems in the past ACLU has always stood up for free speech, from mm -hmm. my experience. Um, so I did expect them to step in and, and support us. So, Joey, what, you know, you're being branded, I guess, or called an alt-right group. What is that, and would you agree with how the Portland mayor has called you that? No, it's, it's completely deceptive. Uh, I'm not even a right-winger. I'm more of a libertarian. Um, hmm. I believe in freedoms. That's my main thing. You know, like, I'm for gay rights. You know, I'm against mm -hmm. the drug war. So um, he, he purposely came out to make it sound like I'm going to spew out hate, and that's not true. You know, I challenge him to look at any of my speeches, any of my videos, and I, and I ask him to point out one thing I've ever said that's hateful. What it seems to me like, Joey, is that the, the person who did these terrible stabbings, Jeremy Christian, they're trying to link him to groups like, your, like yours and others. Um, how unfair is that? It's very unfair. The mayor did link him to us, mm -hmm. um, and I talked to him about that. I asked him to come out and, and say the truth because he knows what happened is he showed up to one of our marches and we kicked him out. That's the only connection right there. In fact, you know, he was, he hated Trump. You know, he hated Hillary. Um, he was very uh, hateful to all of us. And so we have no connection with him. We have nothing to do with him. And so I'm asking the mayor to be responsible and come out and tell the city to calm down and, and tell the truth and say that Jeremy Christian has nothing to do with these guys. I may disagree with them, but right. they're not Jeremy Christian. Now, you've received, as I say, a permit for Sunday's rally. I believe that's a federal permit, but you are waiting for a permit on another rally. Have you heard anything from the city? And what happens if you don't get the permit? Are you going to go ahead anyway, or is that too dangerous a proposition? Uh, if you're talking about the June 10th rally, yes. um, we're actually we're putting all our energy into taking it up to Seattle. So Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're going to go up to Seattle, get a bunch of people out there, and to basically stand against Sharia law. So it seems to me that uh, President Trump gets blamed for violence. He's getting blamed for creating the kind of atmosphere that led to those fatal stabbings on the, in, in Oregon. What, what are your thoughts on that? I think that we need to focus on the individual, and we need to put the responsibilities on the individual. Um, I, I've never heard President Trump say anything that would promote violence, that would promote a man to kill two Americans who are standing up for these girls. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, it's people, it's peddling is what they're doing. They're using this for political gain.